Welcome back to Consumer Labs. Today we're going to talk about what you can never expect the Apple Watch to have. What sensor just never going to happen. And I'm sorry to tell you, that sensor is a glucose monitoring. Listen, there will never be a direct way for your Apple Watch to manage and monitor your glucose level. It's just not going to happen. So if you're waiting for Apple to come out with this fantastic watch, you know, Apple Watch, and it's going to be able to monitor your sugar levels, it's just not going to happen. And we're going to talk about why. So the question becomes why the Apple Watch can never have the capabilities to measure your sugar level, your glucose level, just to be more specific. Well, the reason being is because in order to accomplish this, what you need is a direct blood sample. And guess what? Apple cannot incorporate that into this watch. Yes, they have various sensors, I agree, but here's the problem. In order to be as accurate as possible, especially we, we're talking about diabetic patient, right? We don't want to be totally off with the readings, right? We, we want to be as close as possible, as accurate as possible, because why? We want to be able to manage our sugar levels, right? So in order to do that, in order to be the most effective, effective you need a direct sample i'm sorry for all those youtubers out there who keep saying oh yes it's gonna come it's not gonna come and let me just be a little more direct about that when i say it's not gonna come i mean directly in other words the apple watch itself will never directly be able to measure your sugar levels indirectly yes in other words you have a, another device that device will send the signals to the apple watch and from there, you can see the reading. Reading, sorry. Yes, that's possible. But as far as this watch, Apple Watch, ever having the capabilities directly, it's just not going to happen. And I wish a lot of people would stop saying that. Because let me just kind of make it simple without me being too technical. The bottom line is this. Your blood is composed of many different things. White blood cells, red blood cells, glucose, minerals, plasma. You get the point. In order to be able to specifically target the glucose level, you need an enzyme. This enzyme is what interacts with the glucose. I mean, we make be a little bit more clear. Enzyme doesn't change the chemical makeup. It just helps the reaction. But nevertheless, what happens after this marriage or this connection or this the attachment of the enzyme with the glucose, it causes this chemical reaction to occur right not with the enzyme but nevertheless it caused a signal to be produced this signal that's produced is then sent to the device and interpreted and that interpretation gives you the actual glucose reading or keep it more simpler your sugar reading your sugar levels all right so the watch can't do that yes apple is trying to use light to do this but light is not going to cut it Light just not going to cut it. You, it's not because, like I just said, your blood is consisting of many different things. Light waves itself is not specifically tuned for glucose. It's just not. And they try and they try and they try in many different ways, but it's just not going to happen. And if they did ever find some type of mixture of light waves to be able to detect glucose, it would never, I'm telling you now, it's never, ever going to be as accurate as just taking a sample and measuring it. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Happen. Sorry. So, please, I wish the YouTubers out there, all these people that just want to get clicks, stop saying, oh, guess what? Glucose monitoring is coming to your watch. It's not going to happen. No type of form of CGM, which is continue uh, glucose monitoring, it's just not going to happen. And, and they just need to stop with that. Right, because it builds up false hope and true, you know, people that's trying to manage their diabetes, they might be waiting for this to happen. It's not going to happen.